Hi Cancers, this week we are celebrating our first full week of Aquarius season. Aquarius season is normally the time where we think about uh, the world as a kind of bigger thing and what are we in that? bigger thing so what are we in terms of networking how do we connect with other people what are we in terms of our goals and our hopes and our dreams you know what are we hoping to achieve in this world that we are a part of so Aquarius is really about how are you the independent being in amongst the group of society or the world or you know the dynamic of what's around you so from this week there can be some real kind of visions of what's possible for you however there are a lot of things that you're going through that are very transformative and at times a little bit challenging so it's it's important to keep reminding yourself of the bigger picture you know don't get stuck in this particular challenge that you've got going on or this particular ending or this situation that you've got going on right now try and see like you know how is this going to be a part of my story how is this going to be a part of my mythology almost you know how am I going to learn from this and improve from this and grow from this so that I can go out into the wider world with my gifts and with my you know independent perspective on things you know what am I going to learn from all of this and how can I like open that up to see the bigger picture of what's possible for me instead of like getting too focused on maybe some past struggles or some current struggles you know this is a very powerful type of manifesting as well to kind of see the bigger picture of like okay where am I going though instead of focusing on the present moment on whatever's happening to look into almost the future of possibilities this is actually supported by Venus moving into Pisces because Venus in Pisces is very like dreamy. It's able to envision things and see possibilities and things. So this is a good week for you if you can kind of just allow yourself to see past what's happening in the present. Okay, so here we have got the Queen of Wands and the Devil card. So the Queen of Wands is really a card of um, showing up authentically. And with the Devil there, it's kind of suggesting that there is a little bit of a block around that, not being able to show up authentically. Maybe you're doing things that you think people want of you or you are um, hiding your light in some way because you're not quite as confident or there's some kind of like limiting belief or fear going on there. Um, the Devil often represents that there is this kind of um, habit that is not quite helping you and to, to be yourself and be authentic and to really listen to um, what is most kind of active for you and what is most alive and exciting in you is going to be able to move you forwards away from anything that is negative for you so guys if you want a reading there are links below otherwise don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next week